Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. Dude, I just had a pretty decent session at Scott Creek up here in, in Santa Cruz. It's like eight foot faces, solid, maybe 10 on the sets. Real clean conditions. So I don't have any footage, but uh, when I see good surf, I don't film it. And uh, now it's kind of not that good anymore. The wind shifted. So uh, I, I'm like, all right, I'm going to go out, get some waves. No big deal, dude, because I'm in this place of like just letting it unfold. So I paddle out, right? But, you know, there's like 10 guys out, maybe more. And I'm like, all right, you know, I'm not going to be pushy. I'm just going to like settle in. But all of a sudden, I nobody's going for the set waves. Everybody's getting caught on the, on the inside. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, fine, I'll go catch the, the, the set waves. I'm cool with that. So I'm out there, I'm like, the, all of a sudden, I'm like the furthest guy out. And half the reason is like, I don't want to get caught inside because of my back. So I'm out there like just picking off set wave after set wave and everybody's getting cleaned up on the inside. And they're like, you know, there, I get it, like some of the middle waves are probably a little better performance wise, but th this isn't that surfing crowd, man. They're just a bunch of like, I don't get it, man. I'm so baffled. And of course there was, and this is, I, I let me be super clear. There are women out there who surf circles around the dudes, just straight up. But there's also this trippy chick in surfing that paddles out, sits way outside, and you're looking at her and her equipment, and you're like, this girl's not gonna go. But I'm gonna let her go. I'm not gonna be the dude who snakes her, or like jams up our scene. But you you let a, like two sets go through, and you realize this girl's always gonna paddle for the wave, never is always gonna pull back, and eventually you just gotta go. I don't know what that is, at least she's not getting caught on the inside. I'll give her that. I don't know what the weird getting caught on the inside thing's all about. It trips me out. But anyway, enough of that. Dude, I just had like a really good session. Like it wasn't like barreling or dangerous. It was just big carvable walls, nice, nice roll in drops I got one full blown set wave late drop on the boil dude where I was like yeah I, I made that drop cause you know like that's one of those tricky things with this back thing like what can it what kind of punishment can it really take cause you know a late drop you can just get pretzeled if you blow it like that's why it's a late drop so I had a really good session. I got one wave where I shredded it all the way to the beach. Yeah, dude. Yeah, because I'm a shredder. But uh, I had one of these sessions. I was just like catching waves. And I would do the thing where I would like kind of hover off to the corner because I didn't want to appear greedy. Like I was like, I don't want to be that guy, dude. Like I don't want to get barked at and yelled at for being greedy so I would sit on the corner and then the set would come and everyone would buffoon it and I would just like paddle like over the first two and there would be the big one like dude illusion written right across it and I'd be like dude I'm going and I'd look around like everybody else is sitting there with their fucking thumbs in their asses did I just swear double double my apologies dude anyway we got to get out of our Airbnb here in like an hour and a half. Surf was really pretty good. I'm stoked. I'm leaving, leaving on a great surfing note. Like fired up, pumped, pumped to be surfing again. I was just out in the water, super grateful. Like, dude, this is so rad. I can paddle and get waves and surf circles around people and not get caught on the inside. Cause like, why would you do that? And all that kind of stuff, dude, I'm fired up back in the game, back in the game. Don't call it a comeback. Cause I've been here for years. Uh, uh.